Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the times of revelation. Um, this is going to be a different time, type of class as I'm going to be actually studying the class or putting together the class as we make this video. Um, I was working on this yesterday and um, our father was... Um, downloaded some information to me intuitively on the subject and I believe we um, got a revelation on the 1260 days um, the 42 month periods um, actually two of them there's two different ones in the book of Revelation and in this class we're going to uh, we're going to try to break it down in a way that we can understand. Um, I am asking you guys for help. It was successful in the last video. You guys did chime in and, and um, with your opinion and stuff, and we were able to glean some glean some information out of that. And so we ask for you guys to repeat it uh, in this one. Actually, give comments on the subject. All right, so. First of all, let's go over there and look at the book of Revelation. Open up a few windows here. You want to look at the word month and days. I guess we should have looked at the word months. But we're only going to look really in the book of Revelation. And that's why we're doing it this way. Because we're trying to fit these pieces of the puzzle together. And... So we're just going to be working on this part here um, separately. Let's see how many times. There's nine times the word days are mentioned in the book of Revelation. You have the ten days here. That one's important from Revelations 2 and 10. And then this one is important from Revelation uh, 11 and 3. The 1,203 score days. This one is semi-important, 11 and 9, uh, which is the three and a half days. That's, that's going to be important from 11 and 9 and 11, 11. And then again, you have the 1,203 score days in 12 and 6. We'll just choose... Um, 11 and 11 because those are the same three and a half days and 11 and 9 alright so those are the verses that we'll look at related to the days we'll come back to those and I, we should have looked up months well let's we'll just look at month make sure that we're being comprehensive six times it's mentioned you got the five months. Uh, I don't, he ain't gave me nothing on this five months. I have no intuition on the five months or when they start or whatever. Um, since this is a time and we're trying to be comprehensive, I guess we'll we'll keep that in there. We'll choose one of these um, coming out of chapter nine. Then down here, this day, the month, and the, uh, I don't know anything on that. We're going to ignore those two. They, they could actually cause more problems trying to get a grasp on those. But now we do have 11 and 12. I mean, and we do have 11 and 2 and 13 and 5. So those are the two times that we are talked about the 42 months. And I believe that those are two separate times. This is my first time doing it this way. But I believe. We're going to be able to do it this way. All right, we'll we'll just go with that. It's not as pretty as I would have liked, but um, it should serve the purpose for what we want to do. So we have the 42 months of Revelation and chapter 11 and 2. 
then we also have a revelation then we then we also have a 42 months in 13 and 5 and like I said I believe these are different I'll show you why here in a second um, let's go ahead and put all of our dates in here timelines in here and then we'll sort them out we got the 1260 days in 12 and 6 we have the 10 days I'm gonna put years because I believe that to be years in 2 and 10 we may not use that one for this video so we have the 1203 score days in 11 and 3 and the three and a half days in 11 11 11 1260 days in 12 and 6 so four days to talk about and two months to talk about and we got six slides six and we got six timelines all right <clears throat> let me pull up a picture tell you guys where this kind of started okay this is where this kind of started yesterday working on this um well I shouldn't say started because I had been thinking about it for the last few days and earlier in the day I just decided to try to figure it out you know talking about the timelines of Revelation the 1260 days in the 42 months and so um, what I did was I decided to close down everything even the scripture and I laid across the bed and I just start praying for people I wasn't really praying for myself I wasn't praying for wisdom I wasn't even praying for understanding um, that's kind of all selfish stuff you know I started praying for people that are in riots and people that you know are in um, hurricanes I started praying for people so I started praying for people that were in trouble that needed prayer and um, then all of a sudden things start coming to me intuitively and over here on this chart this was one of the things that came this image I'm getting from return of the king um, I need to reference him because I actually went in and watched this entire video and another video that he did using a similar chart I think yeah this is the one I actually watched yesterday and there's a couple of more images out of there that I'm going to use. So if you guys go over and holler at uh, Return of the King, tell them I said what's up. Big channels like that usually don't respond to little guys like me. But anyway, I was looking at this chart and I noticed he had this one little moon out there sitting by itself. He has 13 different eclipses here over for the span of about 2010 looks like he goes all the way back to something happening on 1221 2010 which is really interesting that's the Mayan no that ain't the Mayan calendar thing that was in 2012 but um, I guess that makes it even more interesting but it when I saw this one out here sitting by itself um, I became all of a sudden real interested in it what what is that what is that date there I'm probably going to end up doing this class again but since that falls in May first day I did was I looked up Pentecost 2020 or 2021 now of course it told me Sunday May 23rd but we do know that this is the Catholic Church Pentecost they start their Pentecost on Easter Sunday and they always put their Pentecost 50 days after Easter Sunday well you know that that's incorrect they wasn't supposed to start Passover on Easter but I saw how close it was so I decided to look to look a little bit closer well if you know anything about how the lunar cycle works you know that the 
15th day of the month will usually occur about a full moon. And since Pentecost, the true Pentecost is on the 15th day of the third month, that will put it on the full moon of the third month. And what do you know? The full moon of May 2020 falls on the 26th. That's the date of Pentecost. So that what you're looking at, the little moon that's sitting out there by itself, is the Pentecost moon. It should be real interesting. You had these lunar uh, tetrad that was way back there in 2014. I believe that was the start of all of this. We're going to see here in a second. But that's an important date right there as well. So let me... Go ahead and just kind of lay this out. It's really what, what the purpose of this video is. I'm just kind of going to lay this out. And then I'll just try to explain it as we go here. Um, I guess I need some type of timeline, some type of tick marks. All right, we'll, we'll just worry about that in a second. In the meantime, I'm going to have to add some little blips here. I'm going to start off with this date over here Passover with this um, the first moon of the lunar tetrad in 415 that for me personally was the day when my journey started on 415 2014 um, my gross taxable income was about hundred and forty thousand dollars a year um, I was working in corporate America, um, coaching a baseball team to the World Series, no doubt. Um, that's where the name coach comes from. One of the guys I went to high school with was the coach of the girls basketball team at the university where I'm from he went on to be the head coach for the girls basketball team for the top university in the state and when I was posting about my accomplishments as a coach he came in and said uh, good job coach and that actually touched my heart when he called me a coach when he called me a coach yeah I was a coach from that point on he's now deceased now so kind of made it stick a little bit when another coach recognizes you as a coach you know it kind of means something that you know some little six-year-old calling you a coach anyway <clears throat> so that's going to be the start date and we may fill out in some more of this but this is actually going to be one in the beginning this is going to be the beginning of the 40 one of these 42 month periods and it's actually going to end on the revelation 12 sign in the sky so let's put that down there zoom in make it easier on my eyes a little bit when you look at that thing pretty closely it actually fell on Rosh Hashanah so I'm going to go ahead and put the Rosh Hashanah. Date. You have to look at um, when the head of the so-called man child emerged. The whole body was kind of out on the 23rd. But, you know, when it comes time to give in child, I got seven children. And they actually consider the child to be born when his head pops out. You know, if they spend the next two days trying to get that baby out. You know, they're, they're still going to count the time when his head popped out as when he was born. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Let's let's uh, let's do it like this for now. We'll straighten it out later. 
all right so another thing we have to look at well let me show you this I know I'm jumping around a little bit here but like I said I was looking at this date here and I saw that now I had been working to understand the 1290 days because when you look at the book of Revelation in Revelation chapter 12 you see here in verse 6 you have the 1260 days these days appear to start sometime after the woman you see you have the Revelation 12 sign in the sky in verse 1 she is uh, with child and travailing in birth in verse 2 but then you see that there appeared another another wonder in heaven this red dragon who drew a third part of the stars and was ready to devour her child as soon as it popped out this child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron but you see down here in verse 6 then the woman was carried away into the wilderness so for years I've been grabbing a date calculator I'm sure I'm not the only one <laughs> that has been doing this trying to understand when these 2000 or 12 when these 1260 days occurred so I came in and I put in 9 22 or 23 one day shouldn't matter too much 2017 and then I added 1260 days to it the problem was that it shows up on a random day you see that that they don't mean anything March the 5th 2020 2021 I mean when you look at Passover of 2021 <clears throat> it's on or about March the 27th even if you subtract 15 days that takes you back full moon of March is saying it's on or about the 28th even if you were to subtract 15 days that takes you back to the 13th which is not quite close enough one or two days might not mean too much but you know that's over a week and needless to say I tried that with Rosh Hashanah 2017, I tried that with Atonement Day 2017, I tried that with Sukkot or the Feast of Tabernacles 2017 as well as the 8th day celebration 2017 and all of them came up on days that you know didn't mean anything, they're just random days. But as of yesterday, when I'm looking at this random moon sitting there down, out there by itself, which is obviously a Pentecost moon, I put that date in. 5-26-21. And then I subtracted from that date 1,260 days. and it ended up on Wednesday December the 13th I was like wow there's another random day until intuition stepped in and decided to look up Hanukkah 2012 and whoop there it is that's the solution that's the 1,260 days. So what you have is you have a gap between the Revelation 12 sign in the sky 
and Hanukkah. I get it spelled right. I don't know I'm going to spell it wrong. So you have a gap there. I'm going to put them together. Because there's no real timeline between the two. Other than the fact that there's the sealing process. Around in 2017. You would have had the sealing of the father's people the people who would have been keeping the feast days in 2017 these could have been the forerunners the early birds you know but those people that were keeping the feast in 2017 that sealing process apparently lasted all the way up to Hanukkah and you can do your research on what Hanukkah is Hanukkah is not only about the oil which you know implies the the um, parable of the ten virgins there with their oil. It's a celebration all about their oil. But I think what's more significant is how it is a temple celebration. Talking about how the children of Israel had recaptured the temple. That's what that oil was about. Was They was relighting the menorah after it had been captured by Antiochus Epiphanes way back there during the Maccabean period. So you have the 1,260 days ending in the year 2021 around Pentecost. Now, the guys who are waiting, been waiting for the Pentecost rapture, their ears should pop up. You know, they should get real excited about that, you know, because, you know, while there may be a lot of people leaving the planet, during that time there's going to be a lot of people that's going to stay behind and a lot of people that's going to stay behind are going to experience what's called the great awakening at some point well um let me use a little bit of conjecture here warning warning here come he's about to start making up some stuff y'all okay so the way it appears to me is that you have this great awakening occurring before Pentecost of 2026, 2021, which would mean that humans will all of a sudden seem to have superpowers. They will be able to control the elements. They will be able to heal people. They will be able to speak telepathically. These are all of the, um, not all of them, but these are a lot of the promises that we are uh, promised in this next era. We want to have superhuman abilities. And so you're going to have this lawless one, this antichrist figure who will be amongst that group who will then use that ability to trick people. What does it say over there? Those whose names is not written in the book of life, meaning those who, you know, are doing wicked deeds. They are going to be the ones who's going to be tricked by this individual who is going to be portraying these wicked powers to them. Of course, the ones whose name is in the book of life, they'll be using their powers for good. They will be, you know, shielded from this guy a little bit. But he will be out there. Um. Running them up. And so that's why I say there are 42 month periods. Because you see right here in Revelation and chapter 12 and verse 2. Going all the way back there to 2014. This is related to the temple. You see that? This individual is being given a reed like a rod and he's measuring the temple. This is talking about the third temple. But notice down here that he that the Gentiles are being left out this time. You see that in uh, verse two. That the Gentiles are being left out. What that means is, OK, you have. The spiritual Israel who is being taken into the temple. In 2014. But then they are going to through some type of sealing process for 42 months that takes it up to 2017 when the Gentiles will start to be 
led or allowed into the temple. That's why a lot of people started um, their spiritual walk sometime after the Revelations 12 sign in the sky. Whereas there was a lot of people who were um, already on that path of righteousness before 2017. That's a difference in the two types of people that's talked about over there. In Revelations chapter 11 verses 1 and 2. But notice right here in verse 3 it says. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. And they shall prophesy 1,203 score days. So it appears as though this power could have started. And like I said you guys add your, your opinion in here. But this looks like this. This power was given to them in the year 2017. A lot of people's ministry started in 2017. And so you have these uh, witnesses that are actually out here um, witnessing. Now, I meant, I'm going to do this in another video. You have to understand who the two witnesses are. The two witnesses, in my opinion, I don't know if I, you know, stopped the whole, you know, making up thing a few minutes ago, but this is the way I understand it. The two witnesses are no more than two individuals, two members of the 144,000. You have the 144,000, 144,000 individuals, but out of these, out of that crowd of people, there are actually going to be two of them that's going to be captured or, you know, harmed or killed. Two out of the 144,000. And then understanding that the 144,000 is just a subset of the multitude that no man can number. That's over 2 million people. And I get that from the number of people that were led into the wilderness over there with Moses. There were 2 million people out there with Moses that you read about in the book of Deuteronomy and other places that were promised that they would survive the tribulation. And so it was two million people back then. So I believe that to be two million people now. That's the multitude that no man can number. I don't know of a person. I don't know of a man that can number two million people. I don't think you can put two million pennies somewhere and somebody's actually going to sit there and count that that you know two million pennies. Um, so that is a number that nobody can can uh, count. And out of those two million, a hundred and forty-four thousand of them will be forerunners. They will be of uh, spiritual Israel, not spiritual Israel, you know, Revel the book of Revelation implied that they will actually be Israel, bloodline Israel. Um, but that's the only difference is that they're forerunners and that they're um, of the tribe of Judah or the 12 tribes of Israel. But then out of those, you're going to have two individuals that are going to be um, killed down there in the street. Well, the way I'm understanding is, okay, they are in their ministry now, and then it'll be over there sometime about um, Pentecost that you will see some of that activity with those two witnesses. So, this will be a big day right here. I don't know if you guys are picking this up in this class. I'm going to do it again. This is kind of just, you know, something I'm doing right now just to get my notes together. But... I'll come back and I'll watch this video as I create the next video that'll, you know, be more concise. This will be the day when you'll all not only see the two witnesses, but you'll see the lawless one, the people they call the Antichrist here. And that's consistent with what you read about over there in the book of um, um, Elijah, the apocalypse of Elijah. Let me show you that over there in the Apocalypse of Elijah for those who are not going to come back and look at it. You see down there, um, I don't remember what chapter this is. I don't remember what chapter this is, but you'll see that in the fourth year of the willful king, the son of lawless will appear. 
Now I did a class on this not too long ago showing how our current president could actually be the willful king. Um, I'm not into politics. You know, I know there's some debate, you know, people want to talk about Obama and you got the Obama crowd and you got the Trump crowd and I ain't with neither one of them. You know, I'm just trying to stick to the facts. And if, in fact, Donald Trump is the willful king, you can expect to see the lawless one appear in his fourth year. Well, that's consistent with what we're seeing over here. Because Donald Trump, that will be his fourth year. And that's when you could expect to see this lawless one up here. The one they called Antichrist. Donald Trump is not the Antichrist. He's very likely the willful king. You can watch that video or you can read that book to understand what I'm talking about. And then it appears as though he's given a time frame. Do we finish with this one? Let's make sure we finish this out of uh, chapter 11. You have the court is without the temple, leave out, measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city, and they should tread it on the foot for 42 months. That's this 42 month period over here between Passover and the Revelation 12 sign in the sky. And then it says, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they will prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days dressed in sackcloth. That started on Hanukkah of 2012. So, so somewhere there's these two witnesses that are out there now prophesying. The two witnesses are on the scene. Who they are, nobody knows. Not yet. You're not going to know it until the day they kill them in the street. And their dead bodies lie there for three and a half days. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Or have we gotten that far yet? Might be getting ahead of myself. Uh, let's see. It is kind of covered in here. Yeah, down there. Um, that their dead bodies will lie in the street. So that is a part of that. You see that the dragon. Um, it is these people that's you know uh, smiting the earth. These two witnesses are smiting the earth right now. That's why we have pandemics. See where it says the earth with all the plagues. So somehow these two witnesses have created this pandemic that we're in right now. And all of these other um, hurricanes and plagues. Those are the two witnesses that are doing that. But after they finish their testimony. Uh, the beast that I sent him out of the bottom of this pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them and their, their bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt which the Lord was crucified and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put into graves so <clears throat> We can actually put that in there. That'll happen right after that event. Okay. So that event will actually. I should put it over top of it. Because well, I guess I will. Because that actually goes along with that. Those events will almost seem to be simultaneously. You know when you're talking about three and a half days. Compared to 1,290 days. is actually right there. Okay, I think that finishes us up with chapter 11. Let's let's go back over here and look. So that's e that's this event right here. I got it huge down here. But that one is actually going to be this one up here. <clears throat> so we'll leave that out. I uh, won't get rid of it. 11 and 3. Let's go back and look at that again. So what I'm struggling with right now is are there two separate 1,290 day periods? You have one in 12 and 6 and one in 11 and 3. 
the one in 11 and 3 is I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy. Okay, we've already um, decided. Pending you guys, you know, you guys chime in on this too. We know the Father gives everybody a little piece of the puzzle. So, you know, I could be an error here. But it look, appears as though this 1,260 days started with Hanukkah. Now let's jump over there and look at Revelations 12 and 6. It says, And the woman fled into the wilderness where she was prepared of God, that they should feed her there 1,203 score days. So this is the same event. They're both starting with this Hanukkah. Both of these 1,290 days. So to fix that, I'm just going to add that in here. Saying that they are the same. One is for the Antichrist. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it different because... There's like two different paths there. You got the one path of the um, chosen elect and one path of the Antichrist. With, like I said, they are very similar. <laughs> it's just they have the same powers. They're given the same abilities. It's just one is choosing to use them for good while the other one is choosing to use them for bad. The two witnesses are choosing to use the power for good while the Antichrist dude is choosing to use the powers for bad in their they're um but they're overlapping and it'll be on pentecost of 2021 that we'll see those guys materialize there and so matter of fact we can we can actually put this one here with that path and then we can come down here and put something with this one and this will be the lawless one we'll call it the lawless one and that's from Revelation chapter 11 okay so we're looking in chapter 12 there let's look back over here because we have this other 42 month period. Where's the other 42 months? It's in Revelation 13 and 5. So let's go over there and look at Revelation 13 and 5. And you guys, you, you guys are welcome to use this, you know, information. You know, it's freely given to me, you know. You know, do what you want with it. You know, but if you do, you know, make some sense out of it and put it in a video or article or anywhere, you know, send me a shout. Let me know. Say hey. I figured something out. Okay, so over here in Revelation 13 and 5, you see that it's talking about this lawless one. Let's blow, let's expound on the chapter. Um, this is John said he stood on the sea and saw a beast come up out of the sea with ten horns. This beast was like unto a leopard, it had the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him the power. And his seat and his authority. So this, like, like we was reading over there in um, the apocalypse of Li of Elijah, you have the willful king, and you have the lawless one. They're two different individuals. The king would be the beast. You can read, you know, all through Daniel, how it describes government systems as beast systems. Don't think of a scary beast. Just think of an animal beast as described by, you know, Daniel over there. When we think of beast, we think of monster. You should be thinking of just a government. So any king is a beast, according to the book of Daniel. But it is this king that's going to give the lawless one his power. So it's confirming what we read over there in the book of Elijah, the apocalypse of Elijah. The dragon gave him his power and his seat and his authority. So this lawless one is going to have some type of power and seat and authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. His deadly head wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast. Um, I'm on the fence about this verse. I probably shouldn't even talk about it at all because, you know, there's a lot of people who say that this was the papacy. But, you know, the way we're reading it here, this event has is yet to come. This is actually going to be the lawless one being killed. At one point in my spiritual walk, I was saying or teaching or, or whatever, saying that, you know, 
the beast or this lawless one was going to be killed. But the way I'm understanding it right now in this class, yeah. Somebody is going to suffer a deadly head wound. Then you're going to have, uh, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And I may, may have got some stuff confused in here. But, you know, that's, that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. The beast is the king. The dragon is Satan. So the dragon is given power to the beast. And the beast is given power to the lawless one. So who is it that suffers the deadly head wound? One of his heads. So that would be one of the heads of the beast. So somebody in the government, one of the kings of the government, is actually going to be suffer a death. He's going to be shot in the head. Get his head cut off or something like that. But he's going to live. See where he's healed. So he's going to live. And that's when everybody's going to worship that beast. Okay. Like I said, I'm planning on doing this again. So we'll get that more straightened out. Sorry if I confused anybody. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him. I guess so after he didn't shot his head off and he's still walking around giving orders or whatever. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great wonders and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue 42 months. So is this meaning that the lawless one is going to get his head blowed off? Immediately after he shows up or the beast is going to get his head blowed off immediately. When is this 42 months? When does that 42 months start? This 42 months here. When does it start? Well, let's look at the 10 days. Maybe that'll help us out. The 10 days that we read about over in Revelations chapter 2 and 10. The tribulation lasts for 10 days. But we understand that the tribulation started... With the Revelations 12 sign in the sky. We just did a class on it not too long ago. So this. 10 years would expand all the way. To 2027. So let's do some reverse engineering here. And see okay if this 42 months. Started in the year 2027. What did I do with the 42 months? Oh, there it is right there. Um, Got to use a little bit of conjecture here. Because I don't know. Let me pull up another picture. I had done this in a class not too long ago. When I. um, um The father. Um, through. Uh, intuition. And through scripture help me to understand the uh, times time and half a time that you read about over there in Daniel chapter 12 and how it ends in 2027 but I don't know the month and all of that in the year 2027 we know that it is an atonement day type period because there's a lot that's when we have you know a lot of events that's actually you know going to be that great holocaust that we hear about that you know huge uh, harvest of people that will be thrust into the spirit world so we'll just start there and see what happens hopefully hopefully you guys got some pencils out y'all ain't just watching this y'all trying to help me understand this stuff so you know by the time we do the quote real video we'll have a better understanding of what our father is trying to tell us here let's see you know let google tell us they get it pretty close atonement day 2021 september the 15th we'll use that day or we'll use uh september the 16th because that's we'll use for either one which one we like better we'll go with the first one nine 15 and now we're going to subtract 42 months see where we end up we end up 
March the 15th, 2018. That's because I put it in the wrong year. 2027. Oh, my goodness. Okay, la, la, la. Look at this, y'all. March the 15th. 2024. He said, well, what's the significance of that? Let's see. <laughs> Total eclipse across America. 4-28-2024. That's pretty close. We're within a month of that eclipse that comes across the sky and uh, marks an X across America. If you guys don't know about that, look at the um, X across America that started in 2018, September the 21st, 2017, I should say. Started 20, there was two. Um, one sloth of the X, it went across America in 2017, and in 2024, it's going to make a complete X across America, and it's 42. So, I'm going to use that as a date 4824. Gee, golly, guys. I would say it was 4824. A lot of people call that the halfway point. So, we'll put that up there somewhere, and that'll start the 42 months, and which will end in 2027. Put me a block here for the 2027. And I'm going to just put in here atonement. What day did we say that was? September 15th, 2027. I got that. No, man. 2027. I'm sorry if I'm confusing people. October the 10th, 2027. This is kind of like why I'm doing it this way. Because I want to capture everything I'm thinking. That's why I'm just babbling. So I can, you know, come back and watch this myself and make a better, more concise video on the subject. Especially after I've already got your attention. Alright, so now let's put that date in. October 10th, 2027. April the 10th, 2027. So we did went from, we did, so April, <laughs> April 8th. Oh man. <laughs> there's your 42 bucks guys that's 40 that's exactly 42 bucks thank the lord praise the lord praise the lord he say he, he say he'll give us the information here at the end so we went from atonement day 2027 of course that's give or take a day and we subtracted 42 months you know, that's supposed to be the end of all ends, like we like we're showing you over here in this picture. That that that's the end of it. That's the that's that's when Babylon is supposed to be destroyed over there. Twenty twenty seven. And now we don't subtract the forty two months and we end at the X across America. Y'all y'all uh get in touch with that guy that made that chart. Y'all get in touch with this guy that made this chart. Um I might have to recreate it myself if he ain't gonna work with me on it, you know. You know. But I believe the father is putting it putting this thing together. Four is here. So there's your forty two months. Tribulation starts ten days from two thousand seventeen to atonement day of twenty twenty seven and that and then after that you'll have the seven days of um, um, tabernacling period. So there are your forty. There are your forty-two months there. 
Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, I got this to work with, guys, and I'll start to make it a little bit better. But as of now, I think that's all that I want to cover here. Let me look back at my notes. Y'all, I'm glad you made it to the end of this video. I wanted to show you um, what it looked like. I have been tinkering with it as I was editing and getting it ready to go up. You see it looks a little bit different. There's some, um, a lot of stuff added. There's some stuff over in this section that I'm still trying to work out. Um, so you guys help me out with this. Um, the biggest problem with it now is um, you have this gap in here between uh, Pentecost of 2021 and the X across America in 2024. There's a missing period here that I, um, I'm trying to work on. You notice I got two 10-day uh, periods here. Maybe the tribulation started in actually 2014, whereas the 10 days of all started in 2017. I just did a class on that, so we can put that information in there and um, let's see if we can get this thing uh, uh, worked out. Oh, and we also have to uh, consider the fact that you have the tabernacling period. Um, does the tabernacling period start at the... Um, uh, very very end does this start in 27 if the tabernacles starts in 27 that means that there is a gap between uh, the day of atonement which could very well be pointing to uh, the X across America 424 would be atonement day or atonement year when tabernacling starts in 2027 and so we have that to work with and I, I got this mask on guys because I'm up here helping one of the neighbors with her uh, electricity Chris and I are up here so it may sound a little bit different yeah I believe we figured this thing out um, if you got something out of this video go ahead and hit the like button if you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button but you know if you got something you can add to this you know down there like I said we we're, we're doing this as an impromptu kind of Bible study kind of um, kind of like brainstorming really is what it is and you know so if you got something you can add to help us out here please do so you know um i think we'll try to go ahead and mention your comment if you you know have some valid information some good information and you don't mind us doing so um we'll go ahead and mention or show your comment in uh in the video that we do when we you know um, put this together a little bit more concisely all right i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up hit that subscribe button so you can see that class when it comes out or that bell notification button and shalom.